Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, today's video is Hawken In-Depth Berserker Edition thingy, <laughs> or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Berserker is one of the mechs, and uh, uh, today I'm just going to go in-depth, and I'm pre basically going to discuss a lot of things, and uh, hopefully by the end of the video you should, you know, uh, I've learned something new and maybe you want to check it out. But anyway, let's get started. First of all, the Berserker has 500 health points, which is a rather low number uh, in comparison to all the other mechs that are in the game. The primary weapon of this uh, mech is the submachine cannon. Uh, you also get the assault rifle, but you'll have to go to customize to customize it and then change it, but it comes equipped with the submachine cannon. The secondary is the TOW rocket. This rocket um, can be detonated in flight, which a lot of people don't actually know. Um, it is detonated in flight or mid-air by using the right mouse click again, or the middle scroll one. And uh, the prestige weapon is the Point D Vulcan, which actually turns out to be a really, really good and beasty weapon, which uh, we're going to talk about further on in the video. So those were the basic things about the Berserker. Uh, now we're going to move on to the uh, ability, which in the, as in the previous episode of In Depth, I mentioned that all of the Hawk, not Hawk, and sorry, all of the mechs have a particular ability. And uh, the b ability, by the way, is used pressing the F key um, because you know a lot of people probably got confused or don't know what that key does and stuff. But anyway, the ability for the Berserker is called Ballistic Barrage. And I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> um, but anyway, the Ballistic Barrage increases all damage dealt by 15% for 10 seconds. And if you think about the number 15, that's a pretty high number, 15%, you know. Um, for 10 seconds, I mean, 10 seconds is not the longest time, but it can seriously help you out and make you win that gunfight. And the cooldown lasts for 60 seconds, which is equivalent to one minute. Um, in game time, that actually is a long time, which you might notice, but... You know, you just have to be able to use this uh, at the right moment when you feel that you might not win the gunfight. And uh, the upgrade, or the levels, I should rather call it, there's three levels for each ability. Um, if you have a level 1, it increases the damage by an extra 2%, so put it up to 17%. On level 2, it will increase the duration by 1 second, so instead of lasting for 10 seconds, it will last for 11 seconds. It might not sound like a long time, but you know it does make a difference in first person shooters um, level 3 would reduce the cooldown by 5 seconds which this actually is a pretty good thing as it will only la uh, it will only take 55 seconds to cool down you know all these little numbers might not uh, sound like a very big difference but really they do make a huge difference in 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 the game and when you get to those one-on-one -on -one fights and stuff so anyway now we're going to move on to some about the actual mech and some good points and bad things and stuff about the mech so yeah so the point the vulcan which is the prestige weapon um, is the berserker's strength even with the spin-up time and a high heat generation a skilled pilot can make a short work out of any mech it has a reduced range and accuracy um, compared to the assault rifle so this forces the pilot to move much closer to the gunfight than you usually would do combining this weapon with the special ability will make it very difficult to take down this is uh, very good for surprise attacks and uh, if you well if you also include the TOW rockets and make sure you land as many bullets as you can on the target with the right combination of weapons and pilot, the Berserker has a great potential to be one of the best mechs in the game. It is extremely deadly and I would recommend you do, do not underestimate this. If the pilot, if you know that the pilot might be good, then don't underestimate him. And if you know that he is level 25, where you unlock the prestige weapon, I believe, then don't underestimate him because he's going to have the point de Vulcan and he's probably going to fuck you up I would say so don't underestimate him um, but now if you're thinking of using the berserker um, now we're gonna move to some of the tips for the berserker which might uh, help you out if you're kind of struggling or you know just a little tips to improve your gameplay with the berserker the max maneuverability can allow to sprint from cover to cover very fast so this is a great mech for ambushing and flanking 
you should use the submachine cannon if you like getting close, but if you prefer to stick to the mid-range fights, then you should uh, equip the assault rifle instead. Uh, remember that you can detonate the TOW rockets while it's in mid-air. Um, this is good for hovering targets as they're very difficult to get direct impact on, but you should try to get the direct impact as the TOW rockets deal the most and the highest damage with direct impact, but detonating it uh, in mid-air is done by either right-clicking a second time or using the middle scroll button, so keep that in mind. Now this tip is very very important, you need to keep this in mind, you need to repair very often with the Berserker because it only has 500 health points and as far as I'm aware of it is the lowest um, lowest health that any mech has that I know. I don't know all of the mechs yet but I know like 5 and the, the Berserker has the lowest health points so you want to repair very often and basically every, after every gunfight and you should try not to get into any gunfights without having 500 health points so you should repair very very often and finally do not boost constantly because this will give away your position on the enemy minimap and the berserker has a faster movement speed than the other mechs in general um, so you know you remember not to always be boosting so you don't get seen on the enemy minimap but apart from that I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode I hope that you've learned something new if you did then I would highly appreciate it if you could like and comment and if you want to see upcoming in-depth videos about Hawken then feel free to subscribe uh, I'm gonna go now because I am I am I'm gonna do it uh, come on <laughs> bring it on man <laughs> alright I'm gonna see you guys next time bye